So, we are back to vlogging after almost 11 months of travel hiatus. If you have followed us before, you might recall that we arrived here in the Philippines last December 2020. Since then, we haven't really traveled outside of our hometown province. We really didn't want to deal with the tight and ever-changing community quarantine rules and travel requirements. So, we just stayed home pretty much. And I just posted videos of our previous travels once in a while. We do have a huge backlog of travel videos, even way back 2019, that we haven't edited or uploaded yet. <laughs> However, this time, we really need to travel out of the country for something important, which we will eventually explain in the next vlogs. For this trip's vlogs, we will start with a domestic flight from our hometown province to Manila. Please take note that we fall under the category of LSI or locally stranded individuals. I do not know what are the requirements for the other categories. Okay, so upon arrival at Tipolog City Airport, we went straight to the check-in counter of Philippine Airlines where we were asked for our passports or other IDs. So we gave them our foreign passports. And then they gave out this form that we had to fill out and give back right there and then. I forgot what was it about, uh, something to do with temperature and stuff like that. But the other one is this form called a passenger health locator form. And you can fill this out during the flight and you can give it to the flight attendant before you land. And this is what I'm showing you. These are the questions or information that they want. After checking in our luggage, we headed to the pre-departure area. But before that, before you can get in, you need your Trays app. And they have this barcode that you need to scan before you can proceed inside. So make sure that you have your Trays app already downloaded on your phone with your information and your companion's information. Once we boarded and got settled, I noticed that there were a lot of vacant seats and the flight was not even half full. It must be really tough for airlines nowadays because people are afraid to travel or can't be bothered by the stringent travel requirements. So sad. was only an hour and 18 minutes long so the bottle of water and the tiny snacks that they gave out was fine
By the way, all throughout the flight, all passengers are required to wear their face masks and face shields. Shortly before landing, we were reminded to maintain social distancing during disembarkation. Not that there were a lot of passengers in the first place anyway. For the transportation from the domestic airport in Manila to our hotel in Makati, we chose this service instead of the metered taxis. We paid 700 pesos plus the tip to the driver later on. They issued a receipt and we were given a Toyota Innova, which was great for our luggage. it we arrived safely and comfortably in our hotel next topic would probably be about our swab tests or about the hotel that we're staying at right now till then subscribe <laughs>